my beautiful Leos. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope for what is their true feelings for you right now. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live person reading with me, or you'd like to take one of my classes, you can go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, so let's switch up camera views here. We're going to be looking at your love interest feelings. Okay, we're going to look at where they want to go with this connection. And then we're going to look at some advice. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Watch your both. All right. How does Leo's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, how does Leo's love interest feel about Leo's romance? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, Leo, let's take, lay down a line of nine here and let's see what else I pick up on here. So I feel like there's going to be some profound changes that you guys are going to notice with this person. Uh, I keep seeing a butterfly. Okay. Uh, so butterflies could be significant for you. Let's see what the first card is. So we see that this person feels like they want to defend their position. And it seems like there's other people that seem to uh, be against the connection somehow because they feel like they have the higher ground and they want to fight off. Now, this could be competition. I mean, they feel like they're very threatened by competition with you. Uh, this could be family members or friends, okay? But for some reason, this person feels that there is people coming against the connection, okay? And we see this person's feeling like, I have to fight this off. I have to deal with this. I have to battle this situation. And, and I get the sense from this particular card that they're feeling like their back's against the wall here on this. And uh, they have no choice but to have to deal with this situation. But it does seem like there's a sense of criticism coming in uh, when it comes to the connection. So let's see what's going on here. How does Leo's love interest the one they're here for, the one they want to know about. How does Leo's love interest feel about Leo's romantically? Show me the cards they need to see. Show me the cards they need to see. Okay, let's see here, Leo. Okay, so your person does feel like you guys had like a destiny or a spiritual connection or this defending of this position could be because of traditional values or religious beliefs, okay? because we see the spiritual card coming out there. Okay. How does Leo's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, how does Leo's love interest feel about Leo's romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. I also getting uh, the sound of a bell. So for me, bells are very clearing to the energy. So I feel like your person wants to clear the air. Um, yeah, there seems to be some form of regret here with the um, this uh, broken mirror card here. Um, it just feels like there is been a lot of stuff that has happened and they are feeling bad. They don't know how to fix the situation. So let's keep going here. How does Leo's love interest? Okay. Obviously you see spirit always brings out stuff that you need to see. They are having a lot of uncertainty about the connection. Okay. So how does Leo's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, how does Leo's love interest feel about Leo's romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Let's keep going here. It looks like very soon, with all these factors in play, this person's going to be making a decision very soon. Let's just lay one more layer on this. How does Leo love interest? The one they're here for, the one they want about. How does Leo feel about Leo's romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's see here. 
there is a lot of sadness with this person. It's a lot of sadness. Feels like there's a lot of depression, loss, grief. Let's go to the next line here. We have the nine of pentacles energy. So your person has been spending some time alone or they may be feeling like there's been a self-focus going on here. Maybe they feel like they, there's been this isolation or this separation here, like a sense of independence in the connection. And this person is like trying to figure things out here with the nine of pentacles energy. Your person does feel like there's somebody coming against the connection because this can represent competition, okay? In the sense of like, you know, relationship competition, uh, like an infringing party of some sort. It could be uh, a third party influence or inf interference here, but they're definitely feeling like there's some issues here around that. Your person feels like there is a real strong temptation, a real strong pull towards you. And they're really desiring you. This is like the devil card energy, right? Where they could have a sense of jealousy also because a devil card can show like a form of jealousy. And because of the fact that there is you know, that other card with the competition, I feel like this person's really having some jealousy issues with you and around another person could be a, um, another, um, could be a masculine energy, okay? Is this person's coming out as a masculine? No, it doesn't have to be. It could just be uh, um, coming out as a masculine. Okay, so let's keep going here. We see that there is this very cautious defensive energy. Now, that also could be a friend, a family member, okay, another person. So there's a very cautious defensive energy within this person. We see that your person is trying to be receptive to the connection, trying to stay open-minded, open-hearted around this, trying to be empathetic, but they're feeling very vulnerable and sad and they're dealing with a lot of uh, depression here. Your person does deeply love you with the King of Cups energy. They uh, see you as the best decision for them when it comes to love and romance with the King of Cups energy. Your person really wants to have a conversation with you about loyalty, devotion, or this can be a friend. As I said, that person could be a friend or maybe they just want to be more than just friends here. Okay. If you guys are friends and there's the uncertainty card. So you guys are definitely meant to see this card, Leo, because it's coming up again, showing that this person feels like there's a sense of uncertainty. And we see uh, this person really wants to lay down a solid foundation with you. Okay. They want some sense of stability and stableness here. So far, you can see this person feels sad. Uh, they feel like uh, they feel vulnerable and they want to establish some kind of solid foundation, some sense of security in the connection. Yeah, we got the four of swords energy. So this person is got you on their mind. They can't stop thinking about you with the four of swords energy. They, they have some long-term plans here. It looks like they want to get some kind of counseling or they've asked somebody for some advice about what to do. This person wants luck to be here. They want the timing to be right here. Your person is really missing you. They long for your embrace once again. Your person feels like there's a lot of conflict between you guys. There's a lot of classing. There's a lot of indifferences here in the connection. We got the six of wands energy. I feel like your person feels like you get a lot of attention. A lot of people notice you, right? They want to somehow get your attention too. I feel like, okay, now this is, this is going to be another message that's coming in here. Okay. What I'm seeing is like double vision. It's like, it's like, I feel like they, they feel like they're not seeing you right somehow, like, uh, something about this situation for them. What, what, I mean, when you think about when you were a child, when you used to, to cross your eyes to have that double vision, it's like kind of like distortions, right? So they're feeling like there's some type of distortion in the connection. Okay. And there seems to be with this person, they're feeling really bad. They're feeling really regretful. They're doing a lot of contemplation about this. 
and they're not trying to be rambunctious here and jump to any conclusions, but they're trying to be patient here. It does look like they're getting some type of advice. They see the nurturing card. This person feels like you're distracted. There's some kind of sidetrack going on here. There's some kind of delays in the connection that have caused some kind of conflict. Your person feels like there's a lot of passion between you guys with the Knight of Wands energy. They also could be concerned that they, you, they want you to commit, right? And they feel like there's maybe a lack of commitment there with the Knight of Wands energy. Um, I feel like this person feels like they want to, uh, it's like boiling to the surface and they want to tell you about it. They feel like this passion and action has caused a profound change for them with the Knight of Wands energy being there, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. And we see something about uh, abundance of money, family, long-term coming out here. It's caused some kind of conflict. This person really gets excited around you. That also could be the Knight of Wands energy. They feel a lot of a sense of excitement. So let's, let's bring it together so far, Leo. Your person feels very sad. They're trying to be open-hearted, receptive, but they feel very vulnerable because of something to do with family and family security. They feel like this has caused some kind of conflict in the uh, connection. They feel like there's been some sidetracking, some delays here, and uh, they, they feel like you and them, like, you know, when you guys are together, it's like an exciting, good time. It's like uh, they get caught up in the moment there. So we have the moon card energy here. This person feels like there's some type of hidden peril. There's some kind of confusion that they're not seeing. Okay, now I see spirit why you're seeing the double vision stuff. Okay. So it's like something that they're feeling they're not seeing clearly about the situation and the connection because of the house, home, or family situation. And they feel like there's some kind of secret, something unknown for them. They may feel that you have new love, okay, or there's concerns about new love here, or if you even love them with the Ace of Cups energy. This person is in a lot of pain here. Your person has a lot of self-doubts about the connection with the Nine of Swords energy. Because your person does truly love you with the love card energy. Your person feels like they are putting all the effort into the connection. Your person feels that you are their soulmate or they want a long-term relationship. Oh, actually the card underneath is saying stress and worry. Yes, yeah, same card. Okay, so let's just see. This person feels like their hands are tied, like they're trapped in a situation and a loop. We see that there is this now, Empress can be seen in a couple different ways, right? Empress can be seen as a mother energy, fertility, pregnancy, okay? Something that uh, wanting to start a family could be an infringing party of a mother, okay? It could be saying this, this connection has so much growth. I find you so attractive. Okay, so let's find out what that's about. They feel like they want some kind of commitment here. When it comes to this house family situation, again, they're having a lot of self-doubt and worry and stress about this second chance. Okay, so let's bring it all together. Your person's like, I feel sad. I feel like there's a lot of conflict. It's caused a lot of pain. I'm trying to stay open-hearted about this, but there's been some distractions. There's been delays. And I feel like my hands are tied when it comes to this family situation, the sense of security. And I, I feel like I'm very excited. I'm, I'm, I'm chasing this because of the sense of excitement. And I really want a second chance. I want the opportunity to make amends here. All right, going further here. Very soon, I'm going to make a decision, Leo, because I miss you. I'm concerned about new love, and I'm cautious about this. I've been got, I got some advice, or there's this motherly energy involved in this relationship, and it's caused a lot of uncertainty because of family conflict and stress and worry.
I regret what happened. And I'm hoping when the timing is right, when it comes to these unknowns, there's going to be this strong desire to be patient and give it some time to put the effort into loyalty and devotion and abundance of house and family and home. Spiritually or spiritual traditions or a sense of destiny here. I've been giving some help here when it comes to this house and family situation. There's concerns about this infringing party here. I have regrets about the situation. I really do love you. I want to talk with you about this. I was massively shocked and surprised about this commitment, this wife situation here or obligation. I feel like I want to defend my position. I've, I've been thinking about you a lot. I'm really just confused about the sense of independence, you know, the isolation, the separation. I feel like you, you get a lot of attention. A lot of people want your attention or your affection. And I, it causes me, it causes me a lot of worries and concern because I deeply love you, but I don't, I don't know if, if you're, you know, going to commit to me with the Knight of Wands energy or, you know, this is just a passionate situation because of fertility and pregnancy or, you know, can this grow? Can we start a family or blend families together? So let's see what they want from the connection here, Leo. Let's use, let's use this deck. What does Leo's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they're about, what is Leo's love interest? Okay, what is their motives? What's Leo's love interest motive for Leo? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's see. So they want you to know how they're disappointed and they have, feel heartbroken and that they feel like there's like an air mystery in the connection. And uh, they want you to be surprised about this or shocked about this. They want a relationship and they want to somehow uh, bring things into harmony here to deal with this unfinished business. Okay, so let's find out your advice here, Leo. Let's use this deck. Can I have some advice for my Leos when it comes to their love connection? For their highest, best good for the best possible outcome for them. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, Leo, let's take a look. So I would say at this time, they're saying to contemplate uh, um, forgiveness. We see forgiveness here. And to have some kind of expectations here. Um, so this, it does seem like this person's going to come forward. Isn't it interesting? This, this is like a butterfly energy. Uh, for me, it looks like a butterfly here. So we see that there is these, um, the sense of contemplation and thinking about the situation and having some kind of expectations here. It says that justice is coming. So a decision is about to be made. So this, this person is about to open up here. Um, it's saying that the situation, it has some issues, um, but you need to make yourself a priority here and know your value and your worth that it's no one's fault about what happened and that there needs to be some kind of change here. And it's time to paint the sun back into your sky because uh, you're about to get a big surprise here because you see the tower card energy. So give yourself some time to unplug and just think about things here. So what I can see from these cards is there is some kind of like apology or forgiveness coming in and some kind of expectations of a decision from you. Um, so you're going to have to give yourself some time to think about this. I'm just going to also clarify a little bit further because you know I like to, to have... Um, clear cut advice here. All right, can I have some more advice for my Leos when it comes to their love interest, the highest, best good for the best possible outcome for them? Cards need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Let's see here, Leo. Yeah, again, we're seeing this sadness, this grief, and the relationship, and being empathetic. Okay. 
to gain a sense of courage, strength, or confidence, but not let your pride get in the way when it comes to uh, something about this friendship. So they may bring up some things about this friend or a person that they feel is infringing upon the connection. They're saying that there's no need to worry or even have any self-doubt because you, you, if you want to, you can preserve this connection. Okay, I feel like that's more clear cut. All right, my beautiful Leos, I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Yes, my beautiful darlings, I will see you guys another day or two. The uh, solar eclipse reading for October 14th is up for you guys. And yes, this is called the ring of fire that, that's coming up. And we've already started to feel this solar eclipse because you feel it two to three weeks before. And, and uh, you know, there's a lot going on right now in the world. So you guys know what I'm talking about. And so, yes, we're already feeling the eclipse energy. The planets are moving now. So, yes, there's going to be a lot of movement happening. Lots of big changes coming up in the month of October. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys soon.